Hello, this is Vern, and if you'd like to understand three clear yet often overlooked signs that you should leave the man that you're with and end the relationship, then stick around because I'm about to reveal what this heart in my episode today. Hello, this is Vern. Welcome to your great life to be .com. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave, and I am super excited to be sharing with you three clear yet somewhat un misunderstood signals or signs that you should end a relationship with the guy you're with and move on. The first one has absolutely nothing to do with a man, everything to do with you. And that is when you're not emotionally ready or able to be in a relationship, then you should not be with this guy no matter how great he is right now. Here's why, okay? Uh, there's two specific ways, there's many signs that you're not emotionally available. I wanna focus on two for time purposes today. One of them is, when you feel consistently less than, when you feel a lack of worth, when you feel a lack of confidence, when you feel like you're not good enough for this guy, not because he's better than you, but just that's the way you feel, that's a clear sign that you shouldn't be in this relationship. Here's why, because two things will happen. You're gonna put unnecessary pressure on the man to validate things in you that he can never validate because can, they can only come from within. He's gonna do it again and again. It's gonna be like a drug. The more he does it, the more you need for him to do it. And then it's never enough. And he's eventually gonna get tired of it and he's going to be really, really pissed off about the situation. But more than that, lose connection with you. That, that's part of what, what, what happens. But also, because if you're thinking right now that by being with someone, you're going to get to feel more confident, being with someone is going to shine a light on every insecurity you have. So I'm not saying you should never have insecurities and be with someone, but if you have a strong sense of lack of worth, you're going to feel out of control and you're going to create a very painful situation for the guy and for you as well. That's going to not heighten, but lower your sense of worth even further where you're digging yourself more into a hole. So that's one, one reason why you would not be emotionally available, one sign that you're not emotionally available. The other one is when you're emotionally codependent. And a clear sign for you to know that you're codependent is when you cannot live without this person. When you feel like, should this man end the relationship, I would die. Oh my God, if he stops calling me one day, I, I'm, I get crazy in the sense of inside feeling like there's, there, there's no consoling, no consolation for me if this guy goes away. I, I get that you love this man, but if you feel like you cannot live without him and there's something so visceral that happens every time that he does something that threatens a relationship, you get so scared about it, then that tells you that you're, you're having codependent issues with this guy. And can you work through codependent issues? Yes, but it's much better to be on your own for a while where you can deal with what's really going on and get there faster than dragging someone in the middle of this drama. So those are two ways, two signs that would show me that you need to step away from the relationship for a while. It's not even permanently, but for a while before you can work on yourself and get where you need to be so you create an amazing relationship versus a relationship, okay? Second one is when a man, second sign that you should end the relationship and move away from this man is when a man is consistently unable or unwilling to see, appreciate, enjoy, and love the real you. The key word here is consistently. All men and all women have the capacity to every now and then do this thing where they can't see the real you. But if the man consistently can't see the real you, meaning he doesn't enjoy it when you're really yourself, when you express your true opinion about things and your true voice or your true nature of being, whether that's being reserved, he doesn't like that, or that's expressive and he doesn't like that. When you're being you, if he's not enjoying it, if he's consistently putting you down, if he's consistently trying to control and change the way you are to feel more confident about himself, or to feel like you fit into his idea of the ideal woman, then you need, and, and you've addressed this, I mean, you've addressed this a few times where you, you express that you are this way, He's, he can't see that, you need to move on. You can spend an entire life going to therapy and trying to show the guy that you are the way you are, but if he can't see that, you're always going to feel less than, and you're going to be in a situation that creates incredible pain for him and for you, so it's time to move on. Third one is, when the man, and here's the thing, as I share this third one, some of you might say, oh my God, this is so clear and evident. It's not really under the radar. That's what you say when you're not in the relationship, but I've connected with so many women who never felt they would be in this kind of relationship, and when they find themselves in one, they can't break free. So that's an emotionally or physically abusive relationship. So what does that mean? That means a guy 
who gets high emotionally or who gets hard emotionally from seeing you suffer, where he has one up on you and he feels a sense of huh, accomplishment instead of compassion, when the guy is not able to feel your pain, and not only that, but gets to the point where he kind of enjoys it when you're down, when something happens, when he basically, he's the kind of like, I told you so type of guy that is consistently trying to make you feel like you're not good enough, that's a guy that you should not be with. The other type of guy that you should never be with is a guy who's physically abusive. And physically abusive is not just a man who hits you. Physically abusive is a guy who threatens to hit you or threatens to use force. Here's why, because the only difference between a guy who physically uses his force with you and one who threatens to use it, the only difference is time, for real. You wait it out a little bit longer and he'll do it. So if you catch yourself in the situation, especially if you, if you feel like, oh my God, but he's, you're trying, if you try to, if, if you saw, here's, here's a litmus test for you. If you saw this in someone else and you'd say, oh my God, this woman is being abused, but inside the relationship, you're putting yourself 25 excuses, you're giving him excuses of why he really is kind of justified for being this way, or he went through enough pain in childhood, therefore he deserves to be this way with you. If you, if you catch yourself giving him excuses why he's this way, then that's another sign that you're feeling some codependence, like I explained a little bit before, and that you should end this. Because a guy who gets happy when he, you're, you're down, or a guy who threatens to use his force against you, is a guy who needs to get some real professional help before he can be in any relationship of course, a relationship with you as well. So I hope you find this helpful, insightful, useful, not my usual happy post, but one that can save your life, basically. Uh, if you find these things are helpful or useful, I'm going to ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, on the description of this video, on your screen right here, you'll see a box that appears with a link that allows you to sign up to a free webinar that I'm hosting that will share with you how to find your soulmate in 90 days or less super powerful stuff and it's absolutely free. If you have any questions for me, please place a comment below and I'll either respond to you personally or create a video just for you. Thank you.